peripheral baroreceptors and chemoreceptors. At the bifurcation of the common carotid artery, what you can see in this picture, there are both baro as well as chemoreceptors. What is the carotid sinus? The carotid sinus has a baroreceptor function, which is innervated by the glossopharyngeal nerve, which is cranial nerve 9, to the medulla. And it is more sensitive and important in the baroreceptor function than the aortic arch sinus. This one mainly responds to the decrease as well as increase in the blood pressure. Under normal physiological conditions, baroreceptor firing exerts a tonic inhibitory influence on the sympathetic outflow from the medulla. Therefore, what happens is acute hypotension results in a disinhibition of the sympathetic activity within the medulla so that the sympathetic activity finally increases. So what is carotid massage? An increased carotid sinus pressures will increase afferent stretch volume perception thereby an increase in the baroreceptor firing. This results in the decreased sympathetic tone and increased parasympathetic tone and there will be a drop in the heart rate. This is what is the effect of the carotid massage. And what is the carotid body? Carotid body has chemoreceptor function but not the baroreceptor function because it mainly responds to the drop in the partial pressure of oxygen that is below 60 millimeters of mercury. It can also respond to the increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide or drop in the pH of the blood. But the degree of this response is not as quick and sensitive as central chemoreceptor function in the brainstem. At the aortic arch, there are also baroreceptors as well as chemoreceptors. So let us talk about aortic arch baroreceptor over here. These aortic arch baroreceptors are less sensitive and less important than the baroreceptors located in the carotid sinus. They transmit afferent signals via vagus nerve in contrast with the carotid sinus which transmits glossopharyngeal afferent nerve signals to the medulla. They only respond to the increased blood pressures but not to the decreased blood pressures. And uh, next is the aortic arch chemoreceptors. And the aortic arch chemoreceptor function is also similar to that of the chemoreceptors in the carotid body. So this is what you need to know about the baroreceptors as well as chemoreceptors and what is the effect on the blood pressure as well as the partial pressure of oxygen and carbon dioxide.